think the numbers are uh, uh, screaming out for attention. The uh, bad loans are uh, uh, rising by a hundred basis points from 4.2% to 5.2%, okay, actually, to be precise, 105 basis points. And then, you know, that's one indication of uh, a stressed portfolio. The bigger number really is slippages. Actually, what slipped into uh, bad loans, and there the number is four, five, six, uh, zero. You may say that's uh, you know half of what it was last quarter at eight, uh, eight thousand plus eight thousand seven hundred odd. But that's not really the point. It was expected that last time that would be the kitchen sinking. Mm -hmm. But even if after that eight thousand odd crores of uh, 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 you know loans slipping from their watch list, uh, or much of it from their watch list. Mm -hmm to bad loans, you come with another 4,560, it's worrisome. But the worry doesn't even end there. The non-watch list uh, uh, slippage is steadily going up, as Abhishek points out, it was 958 crore uh, uh, two quarters ago, it rose to 1,500 crore in the second quarter, and now it is 2,000 crore. So what are you doing about your watch list itself? Have you watched everything, or is there more to watch? Uh, is the bigger worry that uh, the market has. Now, uh, I mean, uh, of course, the management has given some, uh, 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 you know, um, uh, guidance on the credit cost, on that is the amount of provisioning you have to make mm -hmm. for the bad loans, and they say that will amount to about uh, uh, 300 basis points. Already, the, uh, it, uh, you know, they've uh, taken charge of about 330 basis points, so they should actually provide for less in the fourth quarter, which means we will report less NPAs. But really, there is no credibility now. Although they are, with these numbers, giving the indication that fourth quarter is going to be lower in stressed assets than the previous quarter, now the market doesn't have that credibility because yeah. this has gone on too long. Yeah. Uh, and I, I don't know if uh, uh, Abhijit could, uh, Abhishek could get us that number. But, you know, for the longest time, the reported NPLs of uh, Axis Bank were half of that of uh, yeah. uh, SBI and uh, ICICI. Mm -hmm. Even today, what is the last ICICI number? Bad loan number, 6.8% of GNP. Uh, you know, SBI stands at 8%. And you always thought access, even after the kitchen sinking, is only 4%. But then, you know, now it is 5%. So now the fear is you're probably going to end at 6%. You're not very different mm -hmm. from the other <coughs> corporate-facing banks. And that loss of credibility is definitely going to be impacting the way the stock price will move. It could get punished more than just the uh, credit cost, uh, increase in credit cost number itself is the fear and is there growth to counter it that doesn't seem to be there mm -hmm. because both uh, loan growth year on year and quarter on quarter is uh, subpar as is the NII number just about four percent higher margins have taken uh, maybe it was one off but there was uh, a beat in the mar uh, uh, a fall in the margin as well so you know it, this it, this stock will get punished for now but the important point is there are a lot of people who still have a buy on the stock and that, that number will run for you. They've all cut their EPS estimates for the current year. Bank of America, Merrill Lynch has cut it by 28%, but they still say buy 550 rupees. CLSA says estimates cut by 14%, uh, uh, but still outperform 550 rupees. Yeah. Credit Suisse, we have cut it by 7%, but still outperform. Uh, Goldman, Sachs, uh, Goldman Sachs has a sell and IDFC as a neutral, but the point is... Uh, uh, not everyone is throwing in the towel. Oh, yes, and you know, the